Justice, justice for our brother. Friends and family gathered in front of the Champaign County Courthouse today calling for justice for someone they lost and an end to the violence. Good evening, I'm McLeod Hageman. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. His name is Nzengeli Mufamba. He was hit in the head with a hammer and stabbed and left in a trash can. Authorities say his daughter's boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, 24-year-old Dominic Fortune, is responsible. It happened at Peppermill Lane and Brookfield Drive just after midnight yesterday. Today, we are learning more about the victim and the disturbing details of that murder. WCI3, Sarah Lehman is live in our newsroom. Sarah, authorities say this all stems from domestic violence. Yeah, McLeod, Jennifer, Dominic Fortune had been dating Nzengeli Mufamba's daughter and had a child with her, but they broke up and she even had an order of protection against him. But that didn't end up protecting her or her family when her father was killed. With shouts of justice and pleas in their native language, dozens from the Congolese community gathered in front of the courthouse, mourning the loss of one of their own. We're here today because we lost our brother, right? Our brother who was a good, a good man. He'd been here for over 20 years. Nzengeli Mufwanba was killed just after midnight Wednesday morning when his daughter's ex-boyfriend Dominic Fortune showed up to their house. The prosecution explains the daughter called him and told him to leave. They said later he came into the home with blood on his hands and her father's phone and keys and told her he had just killed her father. He then threatened to kill her and their child. At this point, she had an order of protection against Fortune. Courage Connection is a resource for domestic violence victims. They say that's when victims are in the most danger. That is when the abuser understands that they're losing control. Domestic violence is all about power and control. And once the abuser knows that they're losing control, that is when it can get really lethal. Craven says domestic violence impacts everyone, the abuser, the victim, their family and friends, and the entire community. It's always hard to hear of a victim of domestic violence to be taken out by their abuser. And then for a bystander, um, someone that is caring and protecting a victim of domestic violence and for them to intervene out of love and then lose their life because of it. It is extremely hard to hear that as well. His family and friends say this should not have happened to Mukwamba. It was a man of peace, right? He, he, wanted, he wanted his kids, his family to live peacefully. Right now, all our hearts are broken. Now, Fortune is being charged with four counts of first-degree murder. The judge set his bail today at $5 million. We'll continue to follow the story for you on air and online at WCIA.com. Jennifer? Now, sir, you were in the courtroom today. What else did you see in here? You know, well, the first thing, Jennifer, that I saw when I walked in was Mufamba's family. They filled the back of the courtroom, and Fortune was virtual from the jail. He was on screen before the judge came into the room. He was very laid back, leaning back in his chair. It looked like he was just hanging out in that room. As the judge and prosecution went over the details later, I could hear the family sniffling and stifling sobs behind me. It, it, Jennifer, it was just a very emotional uh, courtroom today. I can't imagine having to be there and listen to those details of a loved one. All right, Sarah, thank you so much.